Hi, I'm Paul Perdue, and I am the infrastructure nerd. And I'm Mary Jo Boyd, and I'm a legal technologist. And today we're going to talk about the client manager in tabs three. You know, a lot of times I have clients that want um, to speed things up with their billing. They are changing fees, they're editing, they want to do quick reports or update a statement real fast from just, you know, just for one client or one matter. And so I'm going to show you a place that you can do all of those things in on one screen. It's called Client Manager and you can add fees, change fees, add costs, change costs, you can work in client funds, you can look at AR, you can change client information, add courtesy discounts, there's so many things that you can do just in one place. All for the same matter. Mm -hmm. So you can get that bill up on the screen and do all those different things to yes. it? Okay, great, can you show us how that works? I will. Okay, so we're gonna talk about how to modify your client manager screen. A lot of people don't realize that client manager is here and what you can do with it. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what client manager is, how to move around in it, and then how to modify the buttons that you see here. So the first thing is client manager, when you first start to come in here, is just a little icon on the main tab. So we're going to come right here to client manager. If you do a lot of billing or modifying of um, anything, fees, costs, payments, this is a place to do it. You can see everything at a glance. We've got who the client is. You can search by matter, um, either by name search or by the number if you know it. Brings up that matter. This is a matter by matter specific screen, so you see that. If you want to go into um, any of the details for the client, you can click on the little link here right next to the number. So if I click on that, it takes me into my client information. So if I need to make any changes for the address, phone number, or add a um, courtesy discount, change the email um, preferences or my billing preferences, I can do all of that. And when I close the window, it takes me right back to Client Manager so I can make other changes. So any of those client information changes, you can click on this link. I can see at a glance what the address, phone numbers, uh, email, who the primary timekeepers are, when the last statement went out, when the last payment came in. So all of that is right here on this one screen. You can also see at a glance what their AR balance is, what you've already billed the client and what they owe you at this moment. You can also see what is out in work in process. So I can see the fee whip, the cost whip, if there's been any payments that have come in and have not been included on a statement, those would show here. And I can also see if they have any money in client funds. The other nice thing about these is each one of these is a button that I can drill down into to get to more specific information. So if I want to see how old this AR information is or balance is, I can click on the AR balance button and it will show me how many um, days out my fees are due, my costs, uh, my totals, and I can also see if they have a trust balance. So that is a nice place there to look at that. When I close that window, if I have to make any modifications or add new fees or costs, I can come in and click on the fee whip button. It'll take me into a list of all the current whip. So if there's a specific one um, that I need to make changes to, I can see that and click on it and go directly to it. There's also reference numbers, so if you use those, the reference numbers are right here on the screen, so I can quickly go to reference number two, um, say okay, takes me directly to that fee entry so I can modify it, either my hours worked or maybe something was spelled wrong in the description. Any of those things, I can make those changes right here. If I change my view here and show the list down here at the bottom, I can also then right from here click on any other fee entry if there's others in this uh, particular matter that need to be changed. I can do that right here. I don't have to flip back to client manager and come back in. I can change any other reference numbers or things that I need to change right here. When I close this entry, um, it takes me right back to client manager. If you're using your verification list, that would pop in between, but once you've either viewed it or closed that verification window, it will take you right back to client manager. It's the same thing with cost. Uh, if you click on the cost button, I can see any outstanding costs. If I wanted to add a new one, I can click new. It takes me right into the cost window so I can add an additional cost or I could do that in the fee window as well. And again, I can bring up any entry down here to make any modifications if I need to. Go back out here to this window. I can see the payments that are outstanding that are um, have come in but have not been included on a statement. And then I could also see anything in client funds, anything that's out there. And I can also create new client funds entries from here. So that is available there as well. 
something that I like to tell people when they come in, um, when you first open Client Manager, this is the view that you have out of the box. These are the buttons that you have um, that come with the program. But these can be customized, and I like to customize these right away to give me some more options down here at the bottom. So to do that, I just click on my Customize button. You'll see that these ones are not assigned. I can also click on um, any existing button and change it. So if I go to the Not Assigned, I like to make sure I can unbill a final statement. I also like to undo a single updated statement. I also like to reprint a single updated statement. And you can see I am just um, clicking on any of these buttons. It brings up my list. There are lots of options here for you to choose from to add icons that you can get to right away. I also like to get the write off and I change the detail work in process to the right up and down. And those are pretty much the ones that I like to get to right away. Um, occasionally I will add the transaction file list. That's another thing that might be helpful in um, a particular client. So I can change this report to be the transaction file list. And that gives me some options that are client matter specific that are helpful. Once I get that done, then I can just click my run again, and then I can run any one of these uh, options by just clicking on that icon. So here I can come into reprinting an updated statement. I can choose the statement. It's just a direct access to that particular report uh, or option. So that's Client Manager. I hope that helps, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. So that's Client Manager. Everything on one screen in one place to make everything faster and easier. Awesome, and that's just one more way that we can help you to worry less. And practice more.